Hello Chestovers, Sonnet here and in this video I want to share with you a game which American chess grandmaster Robert James Fisher played against Donald Ina during a 51 board simul. The event took place in Cleveland in 1964. In the game Fisher had white pieces and he opened up with an uncommon chess opening which is known as the Sokolsky opening B4. Also, this is known as the Orangutan or Polish opening. If you remember earlier, I have already shared with you a game which Fischer played against Jay Glogger, and that game was also from this simul, and again in that game we also saw Orangutan opening. I guess this was just for an opening change that Fischer tried this uncommon opening. Uh, uh, Black's answer was E6, and let me tell you that, unlike for example, uh, Larson's opening, in this case white is grabbing more space on the queen side but is also doing it at the cost of somehow weakening his queen side. In both cases like in Larson's opening or in this orangutan opening white is fianchettoing the queen side bishop which is usually putting a useful pressure on black's king side and in many cases can be a key piece when organizing a kingside attack. Ok, the players traded off the pawns on b5 and then an exchange of rooks on a1 followed. Let me tell you that all in all we have an equality on the board, nothing special, and we can see that this opening doesn't give white much, well you can use it as a surprise weapon, but uh, it's not that by playing this opening uh, you can create problems for your opponent. Knight a2 and black won white's b pawn in return losing the d pawn. Queen a6. The queen on a6 is now placed awkwardly and let me reveal a little secret for you. Uh, until the end of the game the queen will remain on this a6 square. e5. This is a move which is already allowing white to gain advantage. Better was playing rook d8 or c5. If you want to drive away this knight, then c5 and rook d8 are the moves which you should choose. The problem with e5 is that you are uh, weakening the a5 square and white knight instantly occupied it. Bishop b4, knight d5. An exchange of knights on d5 followed. f6. With which black is creating further weaknesses on the king side. Although it's difficult to give black, black an advice if rook e8 then d4 can follow. In the game we see f6 and queen d1. Fischer wants to bring his queen on the 4 rank. From g4 it will create problems for his opponent. Bishop d6. Well, better is going for an exchange on d4 and activating the queen. Instead we see bishop d6 and there followed queen g4 with a direct mating threat. g6, knight takes d6, he takes d6, queen e6 check. White queen is penetrating opponent's camp while black queen is awkwardly placed on a6. White also has a powerful bishop pair while black still needs to develop this guy which is a problematic task and yeah, already black's position is hopeless, just no time for consolidating the position. Queen c7 check, king h6, rook a1, and now where are you going to put your queen? Black decided to counterattack white queen, but by making two more moves, Fischer forced the resignation. Can you find his next moves? Ready? Uh, in here Fischer first announced a check from e3 and after Black's g5 response played bishop takes g5 and forced a resignation. In case of f takes g6 white is already winning black queen with the check. That's why at this point black resigned. And if here then you can just give a check and then win black queen. So this is it dear chess lovers. Hope that you enjoyed the game. Playing Orangutan opening is always a fun, you can try it when playing Super Blitz or uh, Bullet games in order to surprise your opponents. In the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. 
the engine says that there is even a forced mate in 5 and as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.